Hi guys, welcome to another exciting episode of Kenganda. I am your host Joanita and today I'm interviewing a very famous, should I say very famous oh, really? YouTuber. <laughs> so she's going to tell you guys where she's from and everything. So come along. So how are you? I'm good Joanita. How are you doing? I'm okay. Welcome to Uganda. Yes, Wabalenyo. Thank you so much. Which other words can you say in Uganda? I know a lot of words in Uganda. Don't try, don't try that on me. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and I know Nyavo Sevo. Okay. Yeah, okay, that's I'm lovely. Good, yeah. you, you're now Ugandan. I'm like Ugandan. that, that qualifies yeah. you. <laughs> okay. You got from Buganda. You're in Uganda. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, where are you from and what can you tell us about yourself? Um, I'm from Nairobi, Kenya. And I love making videos about Africa. Yeah. Basically, that is it. You didn't give us your name and whatnot. Oh, my name is African Tigress, yeah. the one and only African Tigress. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm from Nairobi. Yeah. I make videos yeah. about uh, showing the beauty of Africa and opportunities that exist in different countries in Africa. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, is it your first time coming to Uganda? Uh, this is not my first time in Uganda, but this is the first time I'm coming to Uganda to make videos. Oh. Yeah, I've been to Uganda about this. This could be about my second, my third time. Mm. Yeah, but the last time I came here, uh, I didn't make videos. So as as a video maker, YouTube, yeah. this is my first time in Uganda. Okay, so when you go to Uganda, what's the first thing you saw that differentiated Uganda from Kenya? Wow, so many motorbikes. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh my goodness, there's so many motorbikes. Yeah. So many. What? I, I, I don't know. Like they're all over and everywhere. I, even, I was even asking, it's like everybody has a motorbike. Whom are they carrying? <laughs> it's a yeah. new business in Uganda. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. There are so many motorbikes. Yes, there are lots of motorbikes in uh, Kenya, but not as much as they are in Uganda. You call them Boda Boda? Yeah, that's yes. Boda Boda. Yeah, so many motorbikes. <laughs> that's one thing that was like totally different. Okay, so when did you get to Uganda? Uh, this is my second day in Uganda. Yes, this is my second day in Uganda. Yeah. Okay. That's lovely. So how long have you been doing YouTube? I started doing YouTube on February. Okay, basically I can say I started last year in October, but I wasn't like really keen on it because um, I basically started as a place to store my memories. I love traveling and I love things to do about entrepreneurship. Personally, I'm an entrepreneur. So um, most often I could travel, interact with other entrepreneurs and stuff like that. And I could lose memories, like maybe you lose your phone or whatever device that you used to record. And then that is it. So I started uh documenting them and trying to put them on youtube but i didn't like really share it or make it public but when it got to february a friend told me like oh you love traveling and you know you could use youtube as a platform to also do your advocacy work yeah so then i seriously started doing youtube from february mid-february 2019 yes oh that's amazing because the amount of subscribers you have yes <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah okay so what type of content do you do for youtube on your YouTube channel? Uh, basically, I do traveling within Africa, like uh, how to travel within Africa and amazing things that you can see in different countries in Africa, as well as opportunities that exist in Africa. Uh, like I have a huge following from the diaspora, so most of the people would want to know the opportunities the business opportunities that exist in different countries uh, how to start business how to invest in africa so when i'm traveling i also try to meet uh, different entrepreneurs who are doing amazing work in their countries so as to just share the experience to give insight to those people who want to also invest in africa yeah okay you've mentioned travel a lot how many countries have you visited so far um within africa <laughs> As in general, how many countries in the world? Um, over 10 countries. Um, I've been to over 10 countries. I've been to Ethiopia, Egypt, uh, Uganda, of course, not the first time, Tanzania, Rwanda, Burundi, uh, DRC, uh, the US, I've been to the UAE. Yeah, over 10 countries, over 10 countries. Yeah. So which country was your favorite? Which country blew your mind and you're like, I must go back and I love this wow. country? 
my favorite country that's a very hard that's a very hard question to to, to actually ah uh, my favorite country mm, let me think I'm also sure which one was my, which one I'm not very sure which one was my favorite country because every country has something unique about it there's something beautiful in every country some countries like have like a very beautiful beach uh, like all countries have like amazing people for every country you travel you meet you meet amazing people people like you <laughs> well, thank you <laughs> you meet amazing people who actually make you feel like you you don't want to go back but you know you have to keep moving it's a very hard thing to do because you connect with people people are so nice to you so i'm thinking like by the time i'll be done with all the 54 african countries i would be wanting to go back to each and every country <laughs> it's it's very hard i love all countries every country is unique in its own way yeah okay. so since you love every country which country would you like to go back to twice though I know you love every country, but which country is that that you, you're like, I must come back for the second time. I must bring my family here. Which country was that? Oh, my goodness. Which one? All of them, honestly. I, I can't really choose all of them. I loved, okay, like of most reasons I've been to Rwanda, I loved it. I love the security. Like, it's very safe. I felt it's very safe and very clean. Uh, I loved Burundi because it's very relaxing and the fact that they have the beach at the capital. Okay, the capital has always been Bujumbura, but until recently, a few months, two, three months ago, they moved it to Gitega, but everything, the operations and everything is still in Bujumbura and it, uh, it's on the shores of Lake Tanganyika. So you can imagine how beautiful that is. So yeah, definitely, I would also love to go back there. Okay, that's lovely. So what's your goal on YouTube? Oh, my goal on YouTube, I would love to inspire as many people as possible. I want to, I want when people come to my platform, they're able to get knowledge that can like really help them in their life and to just impact as many people as possible by telling our story and just helping those who want to know stuff about Africa and all that, yeah just want to have an impact yeah. on people wow yeah. that was inspiring so do you want to give us your socials like your social media pages or anything oh yes of course um african tigress on youtube <laughs> african tigress on youtube african tigress on patreon african tigress on facebook at tigress african on twitter official african tigress on instagram <laughs> All African tigress. <laughs> We're going to link them in the description box though. Okay. So African tigress, I want you to tell our viewers why that name? Why the name African tigress? Well, the name African tigress goes way back in primary school. Uh, so when I was in primary school, we had these groups and they were called different animals. So our group was called tigers. So during presentations, we would like... Um, you have to like really show why you're better than the cheetahs or you're better than the lions and all that. So we used to hype, you know. And so it was a mixed school. So the, the men in our group, the boys in our group, they were called tigers and the girls, we were tigresses. Yeah, so, and of course, because uh, I'm African, so I decided to put it as African tigress. Okay. Yeah, basically it goes way back to that time in primary school because we used to call ourselves tigresses. Yeah, all the time. That's lovely. Then how long are you in Uganda? Uh, I've been in Uganda for about two to three weeks. You know, I want to explore. So, yeah, two to three weeks, I think. Yeah. As much as we would love you to stay behind, <laughs> I guess your family back in Kenya that you need to see. And what's your favorite dish so far in Uganda? Uh, my favorite dish, uh, Rolex. Yeah. <laughs> That's just like a snack. You need to take you to places where you can eat real food, like the matoke, the luwombo, the ginets, and the what's banana luwombo? leaves. <laughs> luwombo. 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 Yes. Yeah, the ginet, the ginets in meat, in oh. banana leaves. Oh. Yeah, that's how they prepared. Mm. So you need to try that. I'm going to take it to all the lovely yes. places. That would be amazing. Yeah, that's yeah. nice. Yeah. So what do you think makes you unique from other YouTubers? Uh, I think what makes me unique from other YouTubers is the way I do my content. Uh, because uh, personally, as a traveler, when I go to a country, I don't just stick at the capital. I also like to explore other areas outside the capital city so that to have that experience. 
just how are people living and how they do things. Yeah. You just say that you like visiting other places from the capital. So which other places are you going to visit in Uganda apart from Kampala, that, which is the capital? Uh, well, in Uganda, I plan to go to the north. Uh, Gulu, I've been told about Gulu. Uh, would, I don't know if it's possible because I know uh, Arua is on the northwest. It's on the world northwest. I would also, if I get the chance, I would also like to go to Arua. Uh, I would also want to go to the western. I want to go everywhere. Yeah. I told you I love going outside yeah. the city, so I would love to go everywhere. I would love to go to Kabare. <laughs> yes, and I know on the way to Kabare, I'll pass through Mbarara. So, yes, you know, some of these places I only see them in like um, music and stuff like that, or when people are talking about it. So, I would love to explore. And any other recommendation you'd give me, I would totally take it up. Okay. Yeah. It's amazing that you even know the names of these places. Like you're mentioning names and I'm just like, how did she get to know that? <laughs> did she get the map and first cram everything? I'm like, let me cram the names if I get to them. Okay, yeah. so can you say bye to us in Luganda? Oh, you need to teach me that. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to say, Mwe vale nyongenze. Mwe vale nyongenze. Mwe vale nyongenze. Yeah, so Mwe that's vale it. <laughs> Yeah, that's lovely. That's Isha said it. Isha said, So guys, you've heard it from the African Tigress. We've, we've had such a lovely time having her on our channel, Kenganda. Make sure to follow Kenganda on IG, at Kenganda. And I'm your host, Janita, and we're out.